Yeah. We must lead him. We must guide him. Yeah. We must, we must guide him in the right path. Yeah. We must tell him to do the right thing. Yeah. And in my, in my song, we always pray this prayer every day and every night. And that prayer is this. Lord, we pray this prayer. Lord, that you would teach my son, that you would show him, that, he, that you would show him your will for his life. Yeah. That you would show him your purpose for his life. Yeah. That you would show him uh, 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 your, your will, purpose, and plan for his life early in life. Mm -hmm. That he may pursue it yeah. Yeah. and achieve it. Now. Also remember, and he, we all praise, praise this prayer too. And we say also, Lord, and to put in his remembrance that he'll always win obeying you. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And he'll always lose disobeying you. Yeah. And I, I, I drilled into my son ever since he was a baby. Mm -hmm. And we pray that prayer every morning and every night before he goes to bed. Because I want, I want to impact him. I want to, I, I, I want to help him. I want to prepare him for the future of this world. Yeah. And, and, and the Bible says, the, 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 the grass withers and the flower fades. But the word of the Lord shall stand forever. Yeah. Well, you, last but not least, we must love our children. Yeah. Be patient with them. Allow them to make mistakes. Because if you don't start talking to your children early in life, guess what? They're going to start talking to somebody else. Yeah. Amen. And so you want to keep the communication open with your children. Right. That they, whatever's going on in their life, they can come to you, whether it's good, bad, or indifferent. That's right. Because I always tell my son, son, no matter what, you're going to always come to me and tell me what's going on. And you and I, we'll get that prayer closet, we'll pray about it, right. I, I, and, uh, I'll tell you, I'll give you the, all I can as far as the day, all the experiences that I've gone through, because I want to, I want to, I want, I want you to learn from my mistakes. That's right. You won't, you won't make enough mistakes on your own, but learn from my mistakes. Yeah. That you won't make the same mistake that I made when I was a youngster. Yeah. Well, it is a blessing, my brothers and sisters, in being a dad. And all the dads today, I just want to encourage you, be the best you can for the Lord. Yeah. If you don't know, and if you've blown it, just say, I've blown it. It's not too late to get right with your children. You say, well, preacher, I, 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 I wasn't in the home. Or, or preacher, uh, I left at, at a, at, at when they was babies. And preacher, my son and I or my daughter and I don't even talk to each other. Well, today, let today be the first day that you man up as their father. Confess your sins to them. Confess your shortcomings to them and say, forgive me. Me, for yeah. I wasn't there. But today, I want to make it right. Yeah. Today, I want to make it right. Will you forgive me? Will you allow me back into your life? We can pick up the pieces right today, right now, and start afresh and anew. It's not too late. It's not too late. It's not too late to be the kind of godly father that God wants you to be for your children. That they may raise up and call you blessed. Yeah. It's not too late. It's a blessing in being a dad. Amen. It's a wonderful experience in being a dad. It's an honor in being a dad. It's a privilege yes, sir. Yeah, yes, sir. of being a dad. Don't let this day pass without calling your daughter, calling your son, and say, let's make it right. Let's make it right. Yes, Let's yeah. make it right today. Let's make it right today. God will bless you. God will cause his face to shine upon you. Is my prayer this day, this yeah. special day, this day in which we honor fathers, is my prayer in Jesus' name. Let us all say amen. amen. amen.